Okay, so I'm using here a backing track in the key of B minor. And then goes to A, and then to D, and then E, a G. So what you're gonna be focusing today is the pentatonic scale, first shape, most famous of all, always that, because that's the starting point for everything in guitar, in life of a guitarist. You're gonna use finger one over the shape, uh, the root of the shape of chord, one, four, one, three, one, three, one, three, one, four, one, four. I might use the blue note here on the G string and on the A string. I might use notes of the minor scale on the G string or on the B string or even the E string. But the central point here is going to be the minor pentatonic of B. Let me put here the backing track. So again, B minor, A, G. Oh, is nice. B minor, A, D, G. It just goes pentatonic. Sounds pretty already. I'm not just playing, right? I'm listening to each note. That's the scale. Let's break it down a little. Let's limit ourselves. We have six strings to work with, 12 notes on this shape. Let's shorten up a little bit. Let's use just the D and G string. So this, this chord, the center of this pentatonic. And here we have a whole bunch of information, a whole bunch of stuff we can work with. So limiting ourselves helps to force us to creative with, right? Limiting is always a good element for creativity. Just these four notes, okay? It will change a little bit, but let's do it. On the E. I don't 
dog is crazy. Sounds nice, yeah? Let's go low. Let's go A and D. Sounds pretty cool. Do you notice when I change rhythm? Oh, my camera. Oh, there we go. the G string. Now E and A I can use here. I always like to slide back to uh, A and back to B here. way I like to do the B and uh, E and A. I go back uh, two frets and work on this square here. See this box? It is the same as this on the sounds so cool. I can change my pick. Just get a little bit more aggressive. So cool, I love it. Going up on D string. Limited in D and G. So what I did here, pretty cool. I did like a half step, slide up and down, then whole step. Sounds pretty cool, right? B. E and B, yeah. <laughs> See how cool it is when you start to cutting a lot of the notes, just limiting yourself to two strings, maybe a third here and there, you start to be more creative because you're, you're focusing into two strings and the notes that we have there. There's plenty to do so much. And then on a conscious way too, adding the techniques of vibrato, bending, sliding, connecting the notes, hammer on, pull off, and you know, it just dynamics, different dynamics and different rhythm patterns, right? You just can create so much with those tools. You don't need to know all the notes here. It helps. It'll make you even better. But these tools are as foundation for a great solo. Once again, my friend, this is one of the main tools every lead guitarist have in mind. Their pockets, in their tool belt, in their toolbox, every time they are in action. Now you can do it too. Amazing. You're welcome. Now, if you want to go even deeper and develop more of these tools, download my 30-day lead guitar jumpstart guide completely free on the download here in the description of this video and start working on your skills and elevate your playing to the next level. Thank you so much for watching this video. Thanks for spending this time here with me and I hope to see you in the next one.